Hello everyone, welcome back. So you can see I'm playing Pokemon Shield again, and today I'm going to be showing off Melmetal. That guy is really coming after me. <laughs> Usually, the ones that are flying only come after you if you whistle at them like this, as he is now. But yeah, he was just aggressively coming after me. <laughs> yeah, I'll show him off by fighting some rock types and just completely destroying them. Obviously, with his signature move, Double Metal Bash, or Double Iron Bash is actually what it's called, he can just completely destroy them. And then I have a setup here that is good for coverage as well. Yeah, Melmetal is actually one of my favorite mythicals they've had in years. He's not exactly an event Pokemon. He's not necessarily a legendary either. I'm assuming he falls into the mythical category. But he is interesting on how you can get him because with Meltan, you can just get infinite of them in Pokemon Go. As long as you keep transferring over to uh, Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee, and Pikachu. Which they actually... I'm going to kill this guy. He's being way too aggressive. Which they actually made a little bit easier because it used to be every seven days that you could do it. And then they cut it down to every three days by using the mystery box. So now you can really farm those Meltans. And you're going to need a lot because you need, I think... Yeah, you need 400 Meltan candy to evolve them into Melmetal. And that's the only game you can evolve them in. So you have to evolve them in Pokemon Go first and then transfer him as Melmetal. And then once he's in Pokemon Go, you can just go to that lady that sets your, um, what do you call it? She sets the nature of Pokemon you'll catch, since in Pokemon Let's Go they don't have breeding and all that. So you just go to her and have them set it to an adamant nature, which is the best one for him. Because he can just completely rinse through Pokemon like that. And yeah, I try to have a somewhat coveraged... Ooh, you are dead. Sorry, Sudowoodo. <laughs> just gonna go blast him with a double Iron Bash. Yeah, now I'm not entirely sure where he stands. I'm assuming he's banned from competitions, just given the fact that he's a mythical type. Even though it's weird because you can catch him multiple times. So, I mean, if you do it every three days, you could just... Ooh, you held on for dear life. Oh, you know what? He might hit him again and just kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is a good way to get over in Durr, so... Or I guess in that case, it was just sturdy. But yeah, either one of those, you can just get over it by having a double hit. That is pretty crazy. And in total, that does 120, because it does 60 base damage. And actually, it has type advantage, too, so it does even more than that. Let's see what this is. Ooh, a rare bone. But yeah, this guy is very fun. I definitely... I like his typing, too. The fact that he's just a mono steel. Because steel electric would make sense, given the abilities that he has, and the fact that he has a wire sticking out of his tail. <laughs> so, he could definitely be an electric type. Let's see. I'll do a thunder punch on this guy. Yeah, his typing is just... It's definitely fine on its own. Steel doesn't have very many just on its own weaknesses. I think it's only like ground, fighting, and fire. Maybe there's another one in there, but those are just the ones that I can remember. And he also has an interesting backstory where it's all these Meltan just get together and they create Melmetal. So both of them are kind of like... Uh, it's kind of like an evolving mythical Pokemon, even though technically speaking he doesn't really evolve, they just all fuse together. Which I'm assuming is why in Pokemon Go, it's the only one you can have it in, because you have to, like, smash them all together, essentially. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's try to find a big guy to take down. Oh, there's a Hitmonchan. Not exactly, but I will blast him. <laughs> now, if he gets a punch off, he could do some damage. Although I am level 88, which is the exact level that he learns Double Iron Bash, so... <laughs> I pretty much had to get to that level to show it off. So obviously that's his signature move where only he can learn it. Oh, goodbye Hitmonchan. Your Pokemon was hit one time. Yeah, very cool mythical Pokemon. Definitely glad you can now transfer him over. You know what, I'm gonna go upstairs and take down the big elephant. I think they spawn consistently every time. So I'm gonna go punch him out. And he's a steel type, so I'm just going to use double iron bash. I'm assuming it'll take both hits. I don't think, even with the level disadvantage, that I'll be able to clear it on just one. But yeah, anyone who hasn't picked up this game, either sword or shield, I will highly recommend it. It is very fun. Despite all the controversy of leading into the game, all the degsit and whatnot, and people falsely claiming that the sprites were just ripped out of sun and moon with no changes, which is just flat out not true, Granted, some of the sprites were kind of carried over, but they were up -res. So, if you look at Sword and Shield and you compare it to Sun and Moon, I mean, you just... There's no person in their right mind that could look at both those sprites side by side and say they're the exact same. It's just 
It's just flat out wrong. Like, even Melmetal here, his sprite is different from not only Pokemon Go, but from Let's Go Pikachu as well. You can tell his body has a little more shading to it than even it did in Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu. So it is different. Don't let people tell you wrong. It has definitely changed. But even the ones that were carried over, they are still changed. It's not like they just took the same sprite and just left it as is. Because I'm telling you, go look at the Sun and Moon and then compare it directly to a Sword and Shield. They do look about the same, but obviously the Sword and Shield is higher resolution. Because the 3DS, as much as people, I guess, have forgotten, it's not a one-to-one -one comparison. Like, if you compared Super Smash Bros. 4 on the 3DS to the Wii U, obviously it looked better on the Wii U. So yeah, pretty silly comparison. But anyway, that was Melmetal. I have a Machoke chasing me. Another really funny feature of this game is that you'll have the Pokemon just obviously out in the wild. But added on to Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu, some of them will actually aggressively chase you like that. And they have different walk cycles. It's just, it's a very fun game. I would recommend picking it up. But anyway, that was Melmetal. I'll be back with some of the other mythicals and rares that I have. I don't know what order they'll be coming out in, but stay tuned for that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you then.